a little boy, Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Life was nothing but a bicycle and a bicycle. What does the Bible tell us about Yeshua, that is Jesus, as a child? Not a whole lot on the surface, but let's take a closer look. Picture this. Yeshua, that is Jesus, born in Bethlehem, a city woven into the fabric of the divinic lineage, yet raised in Nazareth, a bustling working class city in Galilee. His early years were nestled in a family dynamic that included not just Joseph and Mary, but also several younger siblings. Now, let's zoom out a bit. It's crucial to understand the political and religious tapestry of Judea and its surroundings during Yeshua's time. Judea was part of the Roman Empire, under the rule of King Herod the Great, a figure known for his <clears throat> complex relationship with Rome. Rome's interest in Palestine lay primarily in its strategic location between Syria and Egypt, true prized possessions. Consequently, they needed stability and loyalty from the region, which Herod provided, albeit with a firm hand. But Yeshua's story takes an unexpected turn shortly after his birth. Fleeing the wrath of King Herod, Joseph and Mary took Yeshua to Egypt for safety only returning after Herod's demise. And though Yeshua's roots lay in Bethlehem and Jerusalem, it was in Nazareth where he spent most of his formative years. Growing up, Yeshua would have observed his stepfather, Joseph, ply his trade as a carpenter or builder, honing skills that would later echo in Yeshua's own identity as the carpenter. It's intriguing to ponder how Yeshua might have utilized these skills before stepping into his ministry. Could you imagine having something that was built by Yeshua's hands? Moreover, Yeshua was nurtured in a devoutly religious home where annual pilgrimages to Jerusalem were a norm. This upbringing echoes modern research, which highlights the positive impact of religious environments on child development. Indeed, Joseph and Mary laid a foundation centered on God's love and commandments, providing Yeshua with a sturdy framework for his future endeavors. As Yeshua matured, his extraordinary wisdom and spiritual insight became evident. Even at a young age, the episode in the temple at age 12, which can be found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 through 52, showcases his profound sense of purpose as he acknowledged being about his father's business. Yet, despite his exceptional nature, Yeshua remained subject to his earthly parents, Joseph and Mary, embodying humility and obedience. This humility would characterize his entire life, culminating in his ultimate sacrifice for humanity. In conclusion, Yeshua's upbringing in Nazareth offers us valuable insights into his childhood, his humanity, and divinity, reminding us of the importance of family, faith, and humility. As we reflect on his journey, may we also seek to emulate his example in our own lives. Thank you for joining me here today. My name is Will, and I'm an aspirant follower of Yeshua HaMashiach. That is Jesus Christ. Let's continue to walk in the footsteps of Yeshua, guided by his love and teaching. Shalom, shalom.
dead Healing all the sick and blind Got the power, Messiah on the grind Miracles flowing, watching him go He's the king, got that holy flow No one does it like the man above Jesus cool, he's the ultimate love Thank you. 